it is Julie from Pages and Pens. Welcome back to my channel. If you did not understand that thumbnail, that's a shout out to all of my book hangover peeps. Remember the next book hangover slash a live drunk show will be on June 30th and 9 Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. So that's what that was a shout out to. But we're going to get right into the point of this video and that is that it is a tag video. It is June. It is the middle to end of June. I cannot believe that. But it's time for the mid-year book freakout tag. This tag's been around for a really long time. It's one of the first ever videos that I did on my channel when I started this channel. Hi everybody, really quick um, little caveat here from future Julie. I am just here to let you know that I was tagged in this video by Maddie and B over at Heartful of Books and I thank them so much for tagging me. I adore their channel and their shout out to me was so incredibly sweet and I love that a, they're twins because I'm just enamored with the idea of twins and the psychology of twins and they're just both amazingly genuine lovely women and we read similarly and I respect them oh so much in this bookish community and I love that they always comment with who it is commenting which makes things so much easier when it's a dual person channel but they did tag me in this and I had already filmed the answers before I saw the tag so I wanted to put in a really quick caveat to just say thank you so much for the kind words and for tagging me. Back to the regularly scheduled tag. We are going to jump right into this because I have read, as of today, I hit my goal on Goodreads, which was 100 books. Today is June 13th and I have read 100 books already for the year. So I think I may also be doing a favorite and worst of the books I've read to date because I don't want to have to wrap up or pick from 200 books at the end of the year. So we're gonna just probably end up doing that so look out for that but we're going to do this because I have a lot to pick from and I'm nervous about that because I feel like I'm gonna miss something or leave something out we're just gonna we're gonna go with this guys are you ready we're gonna go on a journey let's figure out what I'm freaking out about mid-year. Question number one is the best book that I've read so far this year and it's buried in this stack of books because I did not plan this accordingly. Hold on one second. Is absolutely The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I have not hauled this yet but I did get the paperback UK version. This book is phenomenal. I believe I have an entire review of this up so I will link it up above. You should absolutely read it. I guarantee you this is going to be my favorite book of the year. It is so so amazing and if for some reason you've been fighting the book to buzz and you haven't read it yet I'm begging you to read it honestly just read it number two is the best sequel that I've read so far I'm going to say the a court of mist and fury I'm not pulling it out but a court of mist and fury was definitely better than a court of thorns and roses that was phenomenal that's the best sequel as well. Yep, that's what I'm going with. I'm not pulling them out. You guys know what they look like. Number three is a new release that I have not read yet, but I want to, and I own it, so that's really bad. Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I really, really liked Lady Midnight, and uh, I really haven't liked a lot of Cassandra Clare's writing up to date, but I like the world, so I finally was starting to get down with it. So this is a big one, but this is my Lord of Shadows that I want to get to at some point. Oh, technically as of today, the 13th of June, uh, Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire, which is the second book of the Every Heart of Doorway or the Doorway series. I don't know what they what she calls it. That released today and it's being shipped to me today and I'm super stoked to read that one. Also releasing today was Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab, which is the sequel to The Savage Song. I don't own that yet. I didn't pre-order it, but I definitely have to read that one. So those two came out today, which is why I'm counting them even though I don't have them. Uh, number four is the most anticipated book for the second part of the year. The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, which is a set of children's stories that are from the Grisha universe. I cannot wait for that one. The biggest disappointment of the year is number five, and for that it really can only go to Winter Song by S.J. Jones. This is a labyrinth retelling that I thought I was gonna love. I pre-ordered it because labyrinth, and you guys know me, but I did not love this at all. This one was probably the biggest bummer. I've read other ones that I thought I was going to love and I didn't, uh, Night Circus being one of them, but this by far was one that I was most excited for. Like Night Circus I already had reservations about. This thing I wanted to love, I expect it to love, and I didn't love it and it hurt my heart that I didn't love it. Biggest surprise of the year. My biggest surprise of the year was definitely Illuminae and Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Number seven, a new author or a new to me author that I fell in love with. 
Um, there's a lot of them. I had Saba Tahir, which was An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, which was one of our Java and the Librarians live shows, which I can link up above and down below. So good. That debut novel was ridiculously amazing. Another one, obviously, Angie Thomas, also Shauna McGuire, Francesca Zap Zappia. Zappia? Zappia? I don't know, but I love her. I love her writing so much now. Brandon freaking Sanderson. I don't think my life will ever be the same. Brandon Sanderson is amazing. I've ordered like five more of his books. Brandon Sanderson is everything. I love, love, love his writing. So definitely Brandon Sanderson in terms of new books. This is the second of the book. I don't know why I pulled this. This is the second of the series, but amazing. Also, Becky Albertalli because I read The Upside of Unrequited and loved it. I read a lot of really good new authors. Newest fictional crush. I gotta say my new crush is probably Wallace. Wallace is adorable. He's like an ex-football player who is just like nerdy and awesome and amazing and so cute and just talented and I he's adorable. I want a Wallace. My newest favorite character. Sorry guys, I had an overheating camera as if it wasn't 94 degrees and I'm hot as heck too. It's being temperamental. My newest favorite character, I'm going to say Vin and Elend. I really enjoyed their growth. I enjoyed their communications with one another. I, en I just, I enjoyed them. I enjoyed the heck out of this world and these characters. But also, ooh, Tensoon and Zazid. Zazed? I don't know how you pronounce their names, but Tensoon and Zazed and Elend and Vin, they're so good. Read them. Number 10 is a book that made me cry. History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera and also Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner. All the tears. Also The Hero of Ages, the last Mistborn book. I cry a lot. They all make me cry, guys, but whoo, the tears. The tears. Silvera gets me. Zentner gets me and apparently Sanderson makes me cry too. All the dudes are making me cry. A book that makes me happy and honestly The Upside of Unrequited made me really really happy. I love the representation in this. I love the diversity in this. Molly made my heart so happy. I just I loved this book. I loved it so much. It was so cute and so adorable and so amazing. So was Eliza and her monsters but this was just so cute. I loved it. The most beautiful book that I've bought so far, I'm going to go with this. This is The Long Way to a Small and Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. It's what I'm reading now. I'm about 178 pages into this bad boy. But I just love the color scheme on this. I love the girl kind of like alone down here. The blue and just like this weird like constellation-y, orbity. It's just, it's gorgeous. I really like the aesthetic of this. I'm a fan of this cover, which is why I had to order this UK cover and get it because the US version is just horrific. Absolutely horrific, but this is stunning. The number 13 is a book that I need to read, the books that I need to read before the end of the year. So many. The Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I need to read the Lux series. I need to read Snow Like Ashes series. I need to read The Remnant Chronicles. I need to read Strange the Dreamer. I need to read the rest of the Sanderson books that I just got. I have a lot of series in general that I have not finished yet that I really want to get to. And then like my massive stack of Alcrate books that I have backstocked that I haven't read. I don't want to talk about it. 14 is my favorite book community member. And I'm going to say my book girlfriend, my booktube bestie, my booktube bae. She's my girl. It's Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads. You guys know her as my amazing co-host of the Book Hangover Live Drunk Show and just all around badass booktuber. Um, I'm stoked to know her. Also Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5 who has introduced me to just tons of people and I appreciate him. Also Allie from Hardback Hoarder who I just think is one of the sweetest people and I just adore talking to her and getting to know her better and interacting with her some more. I think she's just the greatest. So that has been my mid-year book freak out tag. Let me know if you guys are doing this because I would love to see your answers. But for now, that is everything. I've got more videos to film. You're gonna see this a lot more coming up. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. <music>